So I am back people with another iconic weapon guide and this one is for a melee weapon which seriously packs a filthy punch. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps me out and if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk videos be sure to subscribe. Okay, so within this game, there are many iconic weapons you have the chance to grab at that one precise moment in time where you encounter said piece. I have covered three weapons already, but this one at the moment the most unique, as it doesn't fire any bullets. It's made to literally take heads off. Just don't be a fool like me and try and fight cops with it or bad guys with guns, because unless your build is right and based around that melee combat, things probably won't end well for you. Now this weapon is called the Cotton Mouth, and with it being an iconic weapon you can upgrade it as you progress through the game and can continue on using it, which is what I do love about this game. I mean if you find something great you can continue on using it as long as you are upgrading it, which is awesome. Okay, so to get this weapon you need to have completed the prologue of the game, and upon doing this you need to follow the main story missions, which start with playing for time, automatic love, and the space in between. The space in between is the mission in which you get the chance to grab this weapon. So this mission sees you in search of Evelyn Parker, and it takes you to another ripper duck called Fingers. Once you are here and you have spoke to him and I won't spoil anything for you, take a look around his room. Upon his bed is this cane. Now it's easy to miss as I almost did and there's no indication that it is there. But yeah, stroll around his room and pick this thing up. Again, this isn't a weapon you can shoot but you can literally beat people to a pulp with it. And if you enjoy that kind of thing, this weapon is for you, especially in those real early stages of the game. And because this is an iconic weapon, I ain't sure you'll have a chance to grab this thing later on. But in case you might be able to, you can see the location to this Ripper Duck on the screen now. If you've already passed this part of the story and you didn't grab this, try going back and see if you can get access to this Ripper Duck's room and see if it's still there. As even if you don't plan on using melee weapons, iconic weapons are iconic and I plan on collecting them all. So yeah guys, this is how you get the cut and mouth iconic weapon and looking at its stats we can see what this thing is capable of. 290 damage per second with a 145 damage stat value. Quite a beast to be honest, but again it is a melee weapon, you have to be real close. It's a blunt weapon so it's not lethal but your enemies will wish it was, love that. It also deals electrical and chemical damage with also the chance to poison and shock enemies too. I mean what more do you need? Obviously with it being a melee weapon, it's going to use slightly more of your stamina swinging this thing and you can see it's a minus 4.5 stamina cost reduction while attacking, which obviously isn't as bad as swinging those fists, but it's still going to take a lot of your stamina down swinging this thing at enemies. So this one handy club, the Cotton Mouth is a very iconic melee weapon, which will see enemies wishing for that bullet and this is how you get your hands on it. And on that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you guys are new around here and want to see more cyberpunk, guides, tutorials, glitches, whatever, make sure you subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload, turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.